Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create product variations in bulk on Amazon Seller Central. Uploading items to Amazon can be quite a time-consuming process especially if you're uploading items one by one. Thankfully, Amazon offers multiple speedier ways of bulk uploading products to your catalog in your Marketplace account. Managing an Amazon listing really takes a lot of time, but with a little knowledge about using the inventory template, it makes a big difference. Amazon offers a built-in parent-child product function that directs all potential buyers to a single page, helping customers find different versions of a product they're searching for one page means fewer clicks and faster checkouts. The ability to list items in bulk is a convenience for Amazon sellers who have large inventories. Amazon provides templates for various types of stores. For example, a clothing-related store would require a clothing template. With the convenience of listing an item in bulk, let us walk you through how to create product variations in bulk. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Before you proceed with this tutorial, you need to know first how to create variations using inventory templates for Amazon listings. In that tutorial, we will be explaining the basics and the key points in creating a product variation. The link is in the description. We will be starting on a pre-filled template from the previous tutorial. As you can see, all of the vital items are filled out. Rows 4 to 7 are one family, where row 4 is to the parent and the rest are children. The variation section is where you will indicate the family relationship. So let's go back. Since you have your first variation family, you can create one by adding a new parent line. What I normally do is that I copy and paste the rows of the previous family. Edit the seller SKU, product ID, and the product name. Make sure that it is not identical with the first family. Indicate the item type keyword. It is fine if it's the same as the first family, just make sure that you have indicated the right category. On the variation section, you need to change the parent SKU column of the new family. You need to change it to the parent SKU of this family. Fill out all the required fields and change the product description to indicate their differences. If you want to add a new family, just repeat the process. Once you're all set with this template, just save this as a text tab delimited file. So those are the things that you need to take note in creating multiple variations in the inventory file template. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!